Hey everyone! Welcome to our Unity tutorial for the Multiview Camera Rig plugin. First, we will go through the setup and installation of the plugin. Simply open your existing Unity project, or you can create a new project using any render pipeline. Then go to the window menu at the top of the page and open the package manager. Find the plus icon in the top left and choose Add Package from Git URL. Enter the Git URL and click Add to import the package to Unity. Wait for the package to finish installing. Now let's register the plugin by going to the window menu again. This time choose Magnetic 3D in the drop-down list. Then choose License and Assets. Enter your license key and click Register Device. This will fully unlock the features of the Multiview camera rig. To import the required assets, click on the button that matches the render pipeline you are currently using. Feel free to close this window now. Navigate down to the project window and find the newly created folder starting with M3D. Open the M3D Camera Prefab folder to find the Magnetic 3D Camera Rig Prefab. Drag the prefab into your scene hierarchy. You may also want to delete or disable any other cameras you currently have. Now let's talk about the visual guides, which are important tools to aid you in producing high-fidelity, technically accurate 3D content that is pleasing to the eye. Here you'll see colored guides or planes along the camera's view cone. The red guide is known as the threshold guide. This is the absolute limit for objects popping out of or off the 3D monitor. Some objects can cross over the yellow guide towards the threshold guide for short amounts of time, but generally it's best to keep objects from crossing the yellow guide. The yellow guide is known as the pop guide. This is the general limit for objects popping out of the screen to avoid artifacts, like cross, talk, or ghosting. Objects should generally stay at or behind this guide to ensure the 3D effect looks correct. Otherwise, you may see issues when viewing in 3D. The blue guide is known as the 2D guide. This represents the convergence point of the cameras and the point at which objects will appear 2D at the surface of the 3D monitor. Place objects at this position to make them appear 2D within the 3D environment. For example, if you have 2D text or graphics, this would be an ideal location to place those objects. The magenta guide is known as the depth guide. This is the limit for objects receding into depth. Objects should generally never extend beyond this guide. However, there are exceptions. If your interocular is less than 0.05, you can ignore the guide and place objects as far from the camera as you want. When setting up your scene, keep all objects in the 3D working area, which is the area between the yellow pop guide and magenta depth guide. This will ensure your scene has an optimal 3D effect without artifacts or parallax issues. Now let's move on to the various camera settings and parameters. You may adjust the focal length of the cameras using the provided slider. Here you'll find that the visual guides automatically update based on the lens you choose. For this example, I will choose a focal length of 50 millimeters. Another way to configure your scene is to adjust the interocular distance of the cameras. Now you'll see the visual guides expand or contract based on the value. Try to find a setting that will keep everything within the guides but doesn't have too much extra space in order to maximize the 3D effect. In this example, an interocular of 0.1 works well for this scene. In case you need it, the Show Visual Aids checkbox will toggle the guides on or off, so you may have an unobstructed view of your scene. Now let's open up the resolution settings. These should be set to 3840 by 2160 if you are producing content for most magnetic 3D displays.
In combination with the previous settings, we can move the camera rig prefab to get a better position. We can also rotate the camera rig to adjust its view angle. The visual guides will follow the position and rotation of the camera rig prefab. Adjust the position and rotation until you achieve your desired result. If your scene needs to be closer or further away from the camera, you can scale the camera rig to adjust the size and position of the entire 3D viewing area. You will need to expand the camera rig prefab and find the child camera's object inside of it. Scale the child cameras and you will see how it affects the guides. Remember to only scale the child camera's object, not the entire camera rig prefab. Also, the scale must be uniform across all axes. Once you have your camera settings set up, we can go over some of the other settings. The camera type dropdown has a couple options to choose from. These will change how the game view will look depending on your target 3D device. Multi-view is a 9-view output, tiled in a grid. This is the standard format for Magnetic 3D's wildfire displays. Stereo is a 2-view output, with both views squashed horizontally, known as side-by-side -side half. This is used for Magnetic 3D's Immersa desktop displays and some other devices. Mono is a single view output. This is great for when you need to focus on how each individual view will look. Interleaved is another two view output used for Magnetic 3D's Immersa tablets and other mobile devices. Choose the camera type that matches your output device. Next up is display orientation. This is where you can choose between landscape or portrait format, depending on your target device. Keep in mind that portrait only works with the multi-view camera type. You will still see a landscape output preview, but each portrait view is rotated on its side to format the video properly for the display and proper playback of the media. Let's move on to the user interface. The plugin allows you to create a single UI canvas for all camera views. These will also conform to any of the camera type outputs we already covered. Expand the camera rig prefab and find the M3D UI canvas object inside of it. This will hold all of your UI elements. If the M3D mouse object is enabled, disable it for now. Create some UI elements under the M3D UI canvas object. In this example, I will create some text. You can see that the UI elements will be copied to each camera view in the game view. This will work with all camera type outputs without the need to make any changes to them. Now, let's take a look at the final result. Creating immersive glasses free 3D content is faster and easier than ever with the MultiView Camera Rig plugin. Thank you for watching. Visit magnetic3d.com for more information.